Bargani Riches and what's up to my rich notification gang. I got another one for you today and we're going to get right into it. But before we start, I want to give you a quick tip. If you ever find yourself with a short lock or a lock this that just may be slipping just a little bit, but it's time for your shampoo day, I want to give you a tip. One of the things that has helped me out with this little lock right here, because it's right on my hairline, is that when it is shampoo day and I get ready to braid and band or twist and band my hair, I actually take this little lock and twist it up with one of the locks next to it. So a stronger lock that's right next to it, I will twist my weaker lock up um, with, you know, if you don't want your hair to come completely loose before you got to go for your retie because you don't want to get charged for a repair, this is what you do, okay? Just don't forget to remove it because we're not trying to combine locks here. We just want to sort of hold us out until we can get back to our consultant. So that's my quick tip. And now we're getting ready to get into the demo or the talk through. Now I'm not a professional, but here is what I would do if I needed to twist and band my hair. The first thing I would do is to make sure my hair is detangled. And for me, I always spray some water on my hair to detangle it. I will choose two even sections of hair. Now, as you can see, I have one short one popping up right there. One little bitty short one. The key to this is you make sure you start your twist at your shortest lock. You see how I'm starting my twist where that little short one was popping up? And this doesn't have to be tight. Doesn't have to be tight at all. We're just getting ready for shampoo day. And the other thing that is very important is you make sure you leave some space between your scalp and um, before your twist starts. So as you can see, I can stick some fingers in here and once I put my shampoo in, I can give my scalp a nice little scrub. So a couple of keys is you make sure you start your twist at your shortest lock so that you can get that involved with the twist. You leave some space in your scalp. Once you do your twist all the way to the end, you create a loop. So you just flip it over itself to make a little loop. Yep, just like this. And this is where you would grab your rubber band. Um, I got these from Walmart. Um, I don't know, 500 in a pack for like a dollar. But I like to use um, scrunchies serve the same purpose i got these from the dollar store too but you might only get like 10 or 12 you might even get 24 dollar but i like those and again as you can see i left room at my scalp where i can stick my fingers in there and massage my scalp when i'm getting ready to shampoo so that's one of the tips a very important tip no matter how long your hair is when it gets to braiding and banding Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I will see you on the next one. Peace.